The class 756 is a tri-mode multiple unit constructed by Stadler that will be used by Transport for Wales on South Wales Valleys routes between Corriton and Penarth and from Rumney to Barry Island and Bridgend once the South Wales Metro upgrade is complete. In total 24 units have been ordered with 17 4 car units and 7 3 car units with the addition of a central power car. The four car sets have a seating capacity of 158, whilst the three car sets have a capacity of 118. The class 756 is a variant of the Flirt family of trains, which stands for Fast, Light, Intercity and Regional Train. The units, unlike the other UK Flirt variants, are tri-mode multiple units, which means it can be powered by either 25,000 volt overhead lines, a diesel engine or batteries. The units will be powered by overhead lines between Corrington and Penarth to Cardiff and then will switch to diesel power from Cardiff over the Vale of Glamorgan line. The batteries are required as the electrification of the Cor Valley lines will be discontinuous with gaps in the OLE in certain locations such as where there are bridges which cannot easily be raised or track lowered for the overhead lines. The batteries themselves will allow for seamless transitions between electrified and non-electrified sections. Unlike other flirt variants, the Class 756 only has a single 15.9 litre V8 Deutz engine providing a power output of 643 horsepower or 480 kilowatts and this is located in the centre power car. The power car on other flirt units has been nicknamed the Thrash Cabinet due to other variants having between two and four V8 engines within the power car. However, on the Class 756, the space where the other three engines would normally be is taken up with the batteries. The batteries could, if needed, power the vehicles a short distance to the nearest station in the event of a power failure affecting the OLE. But the batteries alone wouldn't be enough to power the vehicle from Cardiff Central to Bridgend, which is why the diesel engine is required. The Class 756 is almost identical to the Class 231, which TFW has also ordered, to work between Ebervale and Cardiff, and from Cheltenham to Cardiff. However, the 231s are purely diesel multiple units, and as such have four diesel engines. The only other significant difference is the top speed, with the 756 having a top speed of 75 miles per hour or 120 kilometers per hour, whilst the 231 has a top speed of 100 miles per hour or 160 kilometers per hour. As the name suggests, the thrash cabinet can get a little bit noisy. However, there are doors separating the passenger cars from the power car, which would normally be closed. But passengers can open the doors to move from one side of the train to the other. The two sets of carriages either side of the power car have wide gangways between them with no doors. The class 756, like many Stadler units, has a retractable step, meaning they will be able to provide step-free access. And in fact, the whole of the core South Wales Metro network will have step-free access from the platform onto the train. On board, the trains look very smart indeed, with what looks to be good quality seating throughout, with a mixture of airline seats, table seats and tip-up seats. The seats feel quite firm, but they still felt comfortable and should be fine for the relatively short journeys that passengers will likely make. The seats seem to provide good support and I like the headrests which are similar to those found on the Class 197. You may notice that some of the seats are above raised sections and this is to allow for the aforementioned step free access. The units are heavy rail vehicles and as such require larger bogies and wheels than those fitted to class 777s operated by Merseyrail which also have step free access. The 777s have a wheel diameter of 760mm whilst the 756s have a driving wheel diameter of 870mm and as such the 777s have a much less noticeable gentle incline from the door to just above the bogey. Like most, if not all modern trains, the 756s have charging points which are located underneath each pair of seats with just a single socket and single USB port per two seats. 
The units have a fully accessible toilet located next to the area for wheelchair users and this space has tip up seats, a help point and charging facilities as well as a small table that could possibly be used to place a cup on. I wasn't quite sure how the cycle storage would work, if there would be straps or if bikes would just rest on the tip up seats, but you could potentially get up to four bikes in the designated space. There are tip up seats located throughout the train with some next to the doors, which may come in handy, but could potentially provide an obstruction if the train was particularly busy. One thing I did like about the tip up seats though was the soft close feature which I just thought was a nice touch and helps to maintain the quality feel of the interiors. Overall I think they're great looking units inside and out and I think Flirt in general are becoming a favourite amongst passengers on Greater Anglia routes. The new units will certainly be an upgrade from class 150s that currently operate on Valley's routes. I'm not certain when the first units will likely enter service, however hopefully it won't be too long as the first unit, numbered 001, was delivered in November last year.